Hey there guys and welcome to Carrie's Designs. Today I have a rather large haul to show you because I haven't done a haul in probably about I think a month or so. Um, so I've just been collecting it up and I'm going to go to a scrapbooking retreat here shortly so I wanted to show you uh, um, everything so I could get it put away and packed up. The first thing, the major thing I got was a new um, Canon selfie. My old one um, worked perfectly and then um, it fell and um, I couldn't get it to connect, I couldn't get it to do anything. I mean it would power on and it would go through all the motions but it wouldn't connect to the internet, it wouldn't connect uh, Bluetooth or Wi-Fi or even USB. So I was like I need a selfie because how I do my project life is I print them out a week at a time and I didn't want to um, go back and print out like three four hundred pictures that I'm not going to use um, through Walmart and so I and I have a lot of film for this so I'm like I got this one and this is the Canon it's the Canon CP 1200 maybe you can see better there CP 1200 and um, I've used it a couple times and I it's just like the other selfie I love it um, so I'm really excited to use this and it was a little bit more expensive than the other one um, no I take that back actually the other one that the one I had was like hundred and forty nine dollars or something and this was like hundred and three I think and this was Amazon Prime so I got it in two days so um, here is I got a case for it as well and I'm loving this case it's a turtle tortoiseshell case which unless I'm using it um, I'm going to keep it in this because I don't want it to fall again and um, it, it's a really really nice case I have uh, my other um, I have my other um, tray from my other one and you know the charger and everything so I'm pretty happy about that so I have two trays and then I purchased this one too and I got this one from um, um, Joann's. So I got that. So it all fits in here nicely and um, I can't wait to take this to my, sh my scrapping retreat. Now this one was, this one's called the Hermit Shell and there are other ones um, but I really really like this one. It's, let's see if I can get it up there. So it's called the Hermit Shell and this was $19.99 and it was on Amazon. So again I got a um, two day shipping. It's got a handle on it got a handle right here and it's just you know it's very very nice so I got that and then um, went to I had to do some school shopping for my kids and I went to um, Staples and I found these little notebooks which are adorable I want to say they're like the credit card size they are uh, 3.9 by two point or by three point two so I got like the lavender one and the green one and I thought they were adorable so I might just stick some of my washi in here and use it for washi I don't know what I'm gonna use it for yet when I got them um, they were like two dollars a piece so I thought they were adorable I also got this boss stitch um, twist and sharp pencil sharpener and I want to try this with my colored pencils um, you can have there's two tips that you can have on this. You can have the blunt or you can have the long. So um, I got one for myself, my daughter, and my mom because we all like to color with colored pencils. So I got those. And then um, I had ordered from a place called, let's see, Ink Road. And um, Bonita one of the girls that she's on YouTube and she's also on Facebook and she's a big person on um, Instagram said that this ink road was having 60% off so um, I ordered from it and it was packaged so nice I had this my package was wrapped in a white bag and then it had a bow around it and it was and it also had this beautiful dotted and it looks like rose gold um, metallic um, paper which I'm going to keep and use for something else because I love this paper. So it was beautifully packaged and everything was 60% off um, that I'm going to show you. And again here is all of the things she's on. So she's on all those. 
and it says you deserve nice things and I just thought that was adorable um, this I ordered this set and this is the hero arts and I wanted to get the layering because um, Oh, sorry. I wanted to get the layering um, stamps because I wanted to do some layering of flowers. And I'll show you how I use those. So this one is called, um, it's probably in the back. Let's see. And I've used these already a couple times. Um, this one is called CL4, or 944-4U Flowers Layer Co Color Layering can't read today so I got that and then I got this one which I love and I actually did use this and I did layer some of these which worked really really well and this one is um, CL 949 you're so lovely so I love these and I'll show you how I use these so what I did with these is in my in my um, speckled fawn, I journal every morning and every night, and I'm like journaling all throughout the day. So I took some of these and then I layered them, and you can see how I layered. There's three colors there, and I love the way it came out, and the leaves, I did the leaves as well. Um, this is the other one, and I you can see how I layered some of the flowers there see here and then this one so I like I really really like those flowers so I wanted to show you how you could do that and I did those with a lot of Tim Holtz distress stains and um, the Versamark chalking so also I got from this um, website was the um, pastel gelatos and again I have used these a lot in my um, my journaling I love these gelatos the gelatos I do with I do the backgrounds on the pages and these are all done with gelatos so um, there's a couple sprays in here but most of the time they're done with gelatos and what I do is I put a little bit on and then I wipe it off with a, a baby wipe and it comes out really really well I even stamped with the gelatos to give it a little bit of a faint stamp so I love the way that came out and this is my second set I've gotten. Um, I have almost all the colors. This is the pastel set. I'll show you um, a set of the metallic I got um, from eBay, but that's coming up. I also ordered the Dear Lizzie um, the die cut shapes in the acetate because I thought those were adorable, even though they're summer, but I can still use them throughout the year. And then I got two, or I got one of these. These are the magnetic. Um, bookmarks and it's follow your heart and the the flower or the the feather so I got those I got the carpe diem and I got these um, these are where are these I think these are sticker yeah a fun assortment of calendar stickers for planning your life I got these to use with my project life because it comes with um, enough for each week that I could um, highlight the week is part of my week so I'm going to use these for 2016 because that's what they are so I got those I got the simple stories um, color life and color designer washi tape and these are the different washi tapes and they just come off at different lengths um, so they they come off yeah they come off at different lengths and I thought those were really cute I got the Me and My Big Ideas, the um, pocket pages, and I loved, loved these too. So I kind of wish I ordered two of these. I think I tried to order two of these, but um, they only had one available. So I got these, and these are all of those. I got the Crate Paper Wonder, and I got it for the words. Um, so I thought those were adorable. And then I got the me and my big ideas um the color strip or the tape strips and those are gonna be nice to use so i got those and then from joann's some of this stuff back oh. from joann's i got um this last weekend i picked up this one which is the um 
the 5x7. And um, the reason I picked this one up is because I wanted to put my different pens that I like to lay horizontally in this so when I go scrapbooking I can lay all of my pens in here and they can still be horizontal so when I get them out I will just do that. So I'm going to put all the ones I can in here because I've got, you know, I've got like, these don't have to lay horizontally but they do, but I like them horizontal, like this Stabilo. Um, I like them to lay horizontally and I could fit them all in. So I kind of wanted to do that. So, and that was 50% off. I also got this one and I'm going to use this one for die cuts. So I'm just going to put um, die cuts in here because they're really nice to carry along with you. Um, also from Planner Perfect, I did pick up um, two sets of these. I got the uh, taller uh, regular TN size and then this is the personal size in her her journals because I do love her journals. Um, this was for three, it's $25. Um, I can't make them, I can't find the paper to make them correctly and I do like the quality of them so this is um, designs by Planner Perfect so I love, I do love these, these are one wonderful wonderful um, journaling books. And then from, oh, oh I'm sorry, also I forgot to show you from Joann's I got, I went to the clearance section and I got some of this in stacks because I thought, again, this would be perfect. I have it in stacks and I've been taking pictures with it um, and I thought it would be perfect for Project Life as well. Here's another one and it's got little dividers in it, which I thought were adorable to use. And this one is, um, this one ha also has the little dividers in it, which I thought was cute. So um, there's the ones that are on the back that show, I guess I could show those. So, and I like them because there's, they've got some sewn and they've got some foil on them. And then there's the back of that one. And also found these. I love these. So, those are on clearance. Um, I wanted to get some beads because I want to make some more bookmarks. Some um, more of the charms bookmarks. And I love this. Um, it's like a stone. So, I thought these were great. They were nice and colorful. I got the buttons and these are a, um, like a um, ceramic or porcelain, I guess. I thought the colors were very pretty. I got the Lucky Cat because he is just so stinking cute. So I got him. And then I got these blue these bluebirds, which I thought were very cute, so I got those. And then some eBay purchases. Um, I got this one, and I'm just trying to find different, you know, <coughs> excuse me, um, trying to find different stamps that have the, the um, months and the days of the week, so I got those. And that one is called many months and then I got this one which I used for this week I thought this was cute so this has the um, days of the week the months and the the date the number dates and then I got it all um, so I can punch um, through my planners when I want to sew them together so um, I got this and this was relatively really really inexpensive because the one I had somehow I broke so I wanted to get a nice one to use. Um, I also forgot to show you, I found this at um, <clears throat> Joanne's, it was $1.97. It's a sassy clip and it's a table clip that you can put your, you attach it to your table with this end and then you put your cup or whatever you're working on in that. Love this thing. So I've got a uh, Creative Memories one here that I had, I've had for a while, and um, I wanted to bring this one when I go scrapbooking, so that will be perfect. Because I'm always forgetting the one on my table. <laughs> um, from the Dollar Tree, I had to go shopping for my daughter's birthday um, for decorations and stuff, but I found the the tape, um, pat, the duct tape of the um, 
typewriter and they only had two so I went ahead and bought um, two of the both of them so I got those and then I found the smile self thinking because I thought that was adorable the other ones I don't they're okay this one I'm going to use next year um, I love getting these from the Dollar Tree and this one was really nice the the um, the boxes are nice and big and for a dollar you know if I use it for a couple months if I use it for a week who cares it's a dollar and I love this cover so I got that one I also found um, these um, wall stickers or wall things and I think I don't know what I'm gonna use it for I may use them for dashboards on um, some of my journals so we'll see then for a dollar I can find it use I did find um, some of the stencils because I love to use stencils so I found these which let's see I don't be able to see them very well um, I found these and this is like the um, italic and then I found this one they had different ones I got the dots and then I got two of these and they're a, they're alike but they're not so this one's more rounded and this one's more of a um, thinner one so I got those two I also found the um, follow your dreams 12 months calendar and it's got the little um, typewriter on it I just liked it for some of the sayings and it's real cheap um, art you can put on your wall so I thought that was cute I also found, which I want to go back and get them, hopefully they have them, the plastic envelopes. Ooh, the plastic envelopes. So what I think I would like to do with these is I would like to um, put my stickers in those. I am still trying to find a good um, sticker solution, I guess, because the sticker solution I have is okay. It's not the best. Um, it's not the ideal one I would like, um, but I'm still trying to find a good sticker solution for all my stickers. I have tons of stickers. So this is 12, 12 and a half, so, or 12.7. So this would take a lot of stickers in it, and it's got the gusseted um, sides and the bottom. So I may have to go get a couple more of these. I really like this idea an awful lot. So there's that from the Dollar Tree. Hopefully that's everything I got from there and then this is just a random thing um i found this at walmart Let's see if I put anything. and i can't oh there it is it's the um daler and roni um simply sketchbook soft white let's see it's that and it was like, this was on clearance for like $7. So I went to try it, and the paper actually feels very, very nice. I did try some of my um, um, gelatos in here, and I tried them with water. Um, I'm going to see something once. So, just want to see this. But yeah, see, it does work much better with a baby wipe. Because I think I did it with water by mistake. And look at that. Isn't that nice? So that does some. And there is some bleed through. Of course, that's wet. It had to let it dry a little bit. But um, yeah. And then these are just the cheap baby wipes from the Dollar Tree. So. But it's got, let's see, how many pages? Um, does it say? It's got 110 pages. So, and it's good for pencil, um, fountain pen, acid free. Um, it may not be the best thing for your mixed media or your wet things, but it just feel it's got a lovely feel to it. So that's kind of why I got it. Um, I found this. <laughs> I found this little guy and I found him at TJ Maxx for $6.99 and I've been wanting him for a while so I found him so I was so happy to find him so he's gonna sit on my desk <laughs> and then um, some online oh here um, also we went to five below haven't been there in a while 
and I found this letter K and it's um, cut out of a book which is really cool so I am going to use it on my as part of, as part of decoration here is another um, book that I found at um, five below and I, I think it was five dollars so it's the Royal whatever that name is Lang and Nickel Lang Nickel um, and it's a sketchbook it's got 220 pages and it's 110 pound or 110 GSM and 65 pound but again it feels wonderful it's a wonderful feeling book it's got a little bit more of a bite to it than the other one had but I wanted to do some uh, art journaling in that one as well I'm just trying this art journaling thing um, some online things I ordered this from eBay and I got two of them because I I was like I have to ha use one and then I have to have a spare and it's got the um, feathers and arrows and um, eggs and I absolutely love this so it's the arrows and feathers sticky notes and here's some information on the back but all I did um, on eBay is I put in arrows and feathers sticky notes and this this came up so I got two of those they're relatively good prices I also ordered this um, wreath which I absolutely love I have to play with it yet and I'm going to play with that when I go scrapbooking and um, it comes with all this this stuff to make this and I just thought that was wonderful and I got this one um, Laura from Robin Laura um, she showed this on one of her hauls and I was like oh my gosh I have to get that so I got it and I haven't played with it yet <laughs> Um, another eBay haul or another eBay purchase are the gelatos. Um, these are the metallic ones, and these are by far my favorite gelatos. And um, I don't, I took them out because I've been using them, and they are just wonderful colors. I am in love with these things. If you guys haven't tried gelatos yet, you really need to for your mixed media. Um, it is a wonderful, wonderful tool to have play with. Okay, the last thing is, right now, I have a kind of giant thrift crafty haul, and I'll show a little bit of this at a time. Um, because there's a lot here. My mom and I, we went to the Volunteers of America and um, every two every last Tuesday of the month they have 50% off the entire store so um, I try to limit when I go there to just that last Tuesday because everything is 50% off so I got two tins and this one was um, $2.92, which is a little pricey, so I got it for $1.50, but it's really, really cute, and it's really deep, and I had to have it, so I'm going to use, put some art supplies in there, and I've got uses for these things, so I do have, and then this one, and this one is really, really big, and this one, again, was $2.92, so for, um, $2.92, I got both of them, basically, because it's 50% off. And then I found this, and it was $0.25, cents, me and my big ideas, and it's their little um, oh, ocean 12-by-12 uh, 12, 12 12 or 12-inch 12 borders. So I got those, because I love me and my big ideas when they were younger. <laughs> um, I got these, and these are three... Um, bowls and they were a dollar or actually less than a dollar so I got three of those and I thought those were very pretty so there's three um, woven bowls and I'm going to use in my living room in my kitchen area because I thought they were really cute I got this little bag for I'm um, actually going to put my change in it in my purse um, and I, I thought it was really, really cute. So it was 59 cents. So I got it for, you know, 30, 30 cents, whatever. 
found these letters and they are a half inch letter set and I thought this would be perfect for mixed media or or really anything in um, even like my project life because I can spray them or whatever so never open so they were dollars so I found this and I'm so excited <laughs> Um, it's because this is what I use the Smith Corolla and it was 45 cents so yay score on that I also found this I found another one I found two in one day um, this one was four dollars so I got it for two so I have like a couple of these now I'm very excited about this because these things are expensive if you buy from creative memories um, I got some books and I'll tell you, when you look at the books, uh, some of those ladies, they like to shop with their carts. And you're looking at the books, and they have their cart right behind them or right in front of them. And I'm like, there should be no carts in these aisles. There should just be people looking at the books. And so this one lady kept pushing her cart, pushing her cart. And I, I'm usually really, really good about some of this stuff, but it drives me insane. And I'm like, can you move your cart? Because I'm trying to look right. I wasn't snarky. I said, can you, I go, can I just look right there? She's like, oh yeah, I should move my cart. And I'm like thinking to myself, yeah, good idea. But anyways, I found this one. And it's called Fairy Kisses. And I thought it was adorable. And it's not older, um, but it's got really, really cute little um, pictures and things in it. And I just thought it was adorable. So I got that and it was 25 cents. I got this one. It's Australian Bush Ballads. And I liked it because it's got beautiful artwork in it. So I mainly got it for the artwork. Sure. <laughs> yeah, so it's got artwork. I also, and this one was 25 cents. I got the Giant Treasure of Beatrix Potter. And I know I already have one of these, but um, this one was 45 cents. So I'm going to probably cut up some of these and use them in my um, journals because I love Beatrix Potter and I love these things. So that's okay. I don't, I, I don't try to cut up books. It's really hard for me to do, but um, I do do it. I do do. I said do do. Um, and then the biggest thing I think I found was these and I found these were in one bag and these were in one bag and let's see I think these were for $4.94 so half of that so these are stamping up and this has got the ink in it now I don't know if the ink cartridges works um, this one has the stars on it and this one has the flowers on it. Oh, let's see. So this is Petite Petals. This one is um, Fall Frolics. Which I think is adorable. This one is Splatter. Snowflake. Chocolate chips. That's really cute. <laughs> and this one is confetti streamers. I guess I should show you the sides, huh? So there's that one. Chocolate chips. And fall frolics. And splatters. So I thought those were... That was a good price on that one. And then I found this bag of um, sizzlets and I don't remember I want to say these were probably like uh, 4 dollars too so I got some of these are um, duplicates so I'm going to give them to my mom so I got flower number two which I don't know if you can see those you might not be able to flowers and there's the more flowers I think I have this one, so I might give that one to my mom. Flower number one. Oh, okay. This one was $2.92, so that was even cheaper. It's got some of the folder, little embossing folders. Some of these, which I don't have any of these, so I think these are really neat. It cuts the heart out in the center, and this flower, and then there's a 
birthday cake. And then I got two of the adapters, which are really cool to have. Um, the Dragonfly. The Architectural Accent, which I know I have these. So I'll give those to my mama. Flower number three. And Joy. So that's all I have for right now. I may have some because I am going to go out. So I'll be back in a minute. Bye. All right, so um, I had actually went to a thrift store that's very close to my house, and I was looking for um, a round um, table cover to put on my dining room table, kitchen slash dining room table, and I found a couple more so for fall, so I did find those, so I was happy about that. And then I also found this bag, and it's um, just a nice tote bag. I thought it was really, really cute with all the patchwork in it. And I got this one for $3.49. And um, I also found, oh, well, I found quite a few, um, like, um, home decor things, which I won't bore you with. Um, and ever kind of placed them around where they want to go. I also found this. And this is one of those big totes that you can put 12 by 12 paper in and um, another like some stickers and things so I thought this was really really cute so I got this and I'm going to use this as well for when I go away for scrapbooking and um, eh. and then I found this bag which I love it's like I like it's like a lighter bag and um, it's got pockets here and then it's got an opening in here and this one again was $4.49 so I like that and I love the colors of this. Um, I found these and they were $2 a piece and they may be a little bit pricier than what I'd want. I wish they were maybe a dollar a piece but they're from Pottery Barn Kids and there are six of them and I thought they were adorable. Um, what they are, they're placemats, either for kids, um, but I think I'm going to use them for adults. And you put all your silverware in here. So you can put your silverware in these in their little feathers. And I thought that was a very, very cute idea. So I have, they had six, so I bought all six of them. And they're, they appear to be almost all different. So I'm going to look these up online and see how much they were. So I got six of those for Thanksgiving, and I thought those were adorable. And then I got just a couple books, um, because I'm going to start getting some books and cutting them apart. So I found, and these were all 49 cents, so they're 50 bucks, or 50 cents a piece. So um, I like them because they were vintage, and they had, and some of them have some writing, but not a lot. Like, I can use that little bird again. And I just think these are just the cutest little um, pictures in here. I mean, I love that one. For some reason, I really love that one. Love this one and the birds. And, oh, look at the fish. Even the fish are cute. So this one I got. And then I got the fuzzy rabbit in the park. And I really like this. And a lot of these, I just, I love this wall, or the, um, the curtains on this. So I thought these were really cute, and I could cut out different, um, things from this and use different things, and that. And then I got, um, Aesop's, um, Fables, so I love this one. And I just thought these were, these were so cute. Look at the chicken and the fox. So I like those. I got this one. Oh, and I may not cut this one apart. This is just a rainbow bright one. But I do like the deer. So um, I may cut some of these. I don't know. I liked it because I like rainbow bright. And I got this one called the red rose. And I thought this was beautiful. I mean, look at that. Isn't it just pretty? So, I love the pictures in this, and I thought they would do really, really pretty in um, some of my journalings that I'm going to put together. But that's all I've got for now, and I think that's quite enough. Um, 
I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you give me a thumbs up. And I'll talk to you later. Bye.